Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Susie here on YouTube. I love to show you how I thrift store shop and sell the items to make money. Um, today I have a huge thrift haul for you. I'm not going to waste a lot of time talking before because it's going to take me a long time to get through this. I hit up a couple of estate sales and two or three thrift stores and I have a ton of stuff. It, thrifting is really good right now. So let's go ahead and get to this haul. Okay, so to start with, I know you guys probably seen this behind me and I also posted a short video earlier this week. I went to an estate sale where the lady was a uh, ceramics, that's what she did was ceramics and she sold them. She had tons and tons and tons of ceramics. All of these were unfinished. Um, I got these two big lambs for $5 each. I got this uh, huge rooster and hen. This one was three. Um, I think this one was also three, and that is amazing for a rooster that size. I got some ducks, four fifty. Here's a duck planter, two dollars. Look, y'all, at these little eggs. They were fifty cents a piece, and they say Happy Easter on them. They are unfinished, but that's perfect for me. I love to paint, and I got five of those. I have some rabbits that were a dollar and two dollars. Just tons, look at these pheasants. And she had a lot of them that were already painted too, um, but I just went ahead and got the unfinished one. Look at this cow butter dish, 250 or two, okay. I don't know, somebody can tell me what kind of birds these are, but I just thought that they were so pretty for a dollar each, but I'm not sure about the holes in their mouth. What are those for? You guys let me know in the comments if you have any kind of odd idea. What do you think about it, Nacho? Pretty, aren't they? Okay, I moved a few things around so I could show you guys the rest of this haul. So I picked up these little baby shoes. Um, these, well, they're like brand new, but what baby shoes are not like brand new because they don't walk, so they don't mess up their shoes. Um, um, these were half off, so I paid $2.50 for these. Um, Julie's Designs and Signs um, had some of these where she distressed them or put some antiquing wax on them, just made them look really old with the stitching and stuff, and they were so cute, just styled up in some home decor, so that's what I'll do with these. I found this was $3.99. It's got some cool crazing on that. I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but it is ironstone. Um, so I went ahead and picked that up for $3.99. I found a brass horse. He's not real big, but he's solid brass. $4.99, I'm gonna have to pay up for brass. There's just no way around it. Every now and then you can find something really cheap, um, but I can sell this for $12 to $15. People who collect horses will buy anything. Anytime I've ever put a horse in a booth or online, it sells, no problem. I found another little pear jewelry dish. This one's smaller than the last one I sold. And I think I got this at a flea market for $3. Really cute. I can probably put seven or eight on that. Um, another estate sale, which it really wasn't an estate sale. It was a family having an indoor yard sale. Um, they had really cheap prices on everything. I got this little frame for 25 cents. It's got these little jewels. I just thought it was really cute. This is from a thrift store. It uh, was $2.99. It's just a little thing of knickknacks, and most of them I will probably not ever use, but these are little corner pieces, and then these are um, keys, and so I knew I would use those, and maybe a few other things, so I went ahead and picked that up just to stick in with my, um, you know, craft supplies and all. Got these wooden candlesticks, $3 a set. I'm just gonna clean these up and sell them just like they are. They're so pretty. I love the color on both of them. 
This, I think, is some kind of jelly or jam jar. It was $1.99, but I fell in love with this little wooden scoop that comes with it. Um, I probably sell it just like it is. I may put something in there just to fill it up, but I'll probably just sell it just like it is for 4 or $5. Let's see. Oh, I got another ceramic. This was before I went to the estate sale where I found all the ceramics, but I got another little bunny. Um, this one's painted gold, and it doesn't look too bad. I'll probably just give it a, a you know, another gold top coat and do some um, antiquing wax over it and just make it look a little bit aged, and that will be so pretty. I paid $4.25 for this one. It's a sad. I paid what, a dollar or 50 cents for them other ones, but that's just how it rolls sometimes. Sometimes you find stuff really cheap. Sometimes you gotta pay $4 for a ceramic bunny. But it's Easter, it is that season. You can never have enough bunnies. Um, this, ah, this is just a pillow sham, and there was only one, but it's quilted. It's not handmade, but it's very pretty. I like the colors on it. It was $1.99. So I'll probably give this to Paige my partner at the store that does the paint with me. She's also the manager at the store. She made the cutest sweatshirts and t-shirts because she's a sewer, which I can sew, but I'm not a sewer. It's not something that I can easily do. I really just need to practice at it more, but she's a sewer and um, I'll pop a picture up of the shirts that she made. So I'll probably just wash this and give it to her. If she wants to use it. Oh, there's no pro. Oh, yeah, this was a dollar. I thought this was just a cute little apothecary perfume jar with a cork. So I picked it up. Don't have to do anything to that. Put it in a little purple vignette or something. It'll be cute. Got a cloche base. This one was $2.99, but I like the big top on this one. Most of them have a smaller, and this one's a little bit taller than most of them, too, so I could put a bigger bird in there. I'm getting quite a collection of those, so I'll probably pump the brakes on picking up close bases until I can, or close tops until I can get a bunch of bases made and get them in the store. Cute salt and pepper shaker for $4. Um, I could put a little flower transfer or something on there or on the front of this. I'll probably do that because just to dress it up just a little bit, but it's pretty cute like it is. And everybody needs salt and pepper shakers and that's perfect for somebody that has a farmhouse decor. And there's still a lot of farmhouse decor down here in the South. And it is personally kind of one of my favorites. I tend to go a little bit more cottagey and that kind of thing, but I also mix in a pretty good bit of the um, farmhouse. Okay, I got books. Um, I think I paid a dollar or $2 each for these. I just like the colors of them. Some of them are older than others, but I really like the colors of all of these books. They look really good together like that. Or like that, they have the age pages, all of them, so I like that. And then I got a couple of Reader's Digest. I think I paid a dollar for these. I don't know if they're old. The thing about Reader's Digest, even if they're not old, they're pretty colors, and I can also do book up cycles with them because they're so cheap. And you used to could find them like constantly everywhere, but it seems like people are really enjoying them now. So they're keeping them more often. Okay, so I got some crosses. Um, crosses sell really well for me. I paid $4.99 for this one. It's I have another one just like it, but it's plastic, but it looks just like this, probably made from the same mold or something. This one is ceramic and it's heavy. So I'll paint that up and sell it. All the crosses that I find are in this, you know, brown aged look. I guess that was a style um, in the early 2000s and it's okay, I like it, but um, I like them painted up better and they do sell better. And then these, somebody's already painted these. They didn't do the back and they didn't take the stickers off, which that I don't like that. So I will clean up the back, maybe give it a gold paint job. And I think I'm just gonna leave these like they are, except for paint the backs of them and get the stickers off. Um, these were $4.99 each, but they're heavy ceramic. And I've got two or three this style. This was at an estate sale and it's ugly. I mean, 
I don't know why anybody thought that this was pretty, but it is handmade. I'm sorry, Charlotte in 1977, but I'm gonna paint it. I do, it's got a great texture and I only paid 50 cents for it. So, and it's a good size urn. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna paint that up. I'm not sure what this was, just some kind of vase. Um, it's, it was 50 cents and um, it's silver plated or um, what is that other metal? Y'all, I am in brain fog, big time. Perimenopause, if you're going through this with me, let me know. I am so tired of all the brain fog, the night sweats, everything. And I know y'all don't need to know all this stuff, but it's consuming my life. Are you like this? Are you going through all of these hormonal changes that have everything all mixed up? I won't say anything else about it, but if you are, let me know. Anyway, I got this vase for 50 cents. Don't know if I'll paint it. Probably not. Got this little bird cage for $2.99. It's a candle holder. I'll probably stick a little nest in there. Um, maybe a couple eggs and that would be cute. Um, I might spray paint it, but I kind of like the color on it. So I'll probably just leave it. Okay. The, these here are the cutest little chairs. So the estate sale that I went to where the lady did ceramics, she also did um, dolls. And I'm thinking she might have made like Cabbage Patch dolls or something, or maybe knockoffs. She had all kinds of ceramic dolls, and those are out. Like, I guess people still do collect them, but um, she had tons of them. So, these are just little doll chairs. So, when she made a doll, this one was a dollar, and I love this one. This one doesn't need anything. Um, it is so cute for a little riser in a vignette in your home decor. Same for this one. This one needs cleaned up a little bit. It was also a dollar, but it's a little wicker chair. And these here, I could have got several of these, but this was $3. These are called doll eye sizers. So it's got the different sizes where she, you know, pushes into the clay or the ceramic to make the doll eyes. But I just thought they were so cute, these little wooden things. <laughs> so I picked them up. I don't know what I'll do with those. If y'all have any suggestions, let me know. But they would just be cute, like, stuck in some home decor or something. Another little bird's nest. This one's cute. It's just a little one, um, $1.99. And this, I got the, what did I, I think I paid 4 or $5 for this. Um, the tag is pulled off. It's a cornbread mold. Um, but instead of cast iron, I think it's cast aluminum, which is kind of rare. So I picked that up. I'll easily be able to sell that. Okay. Um, this is a little, like a hook and it was $3.99 and I really love the handle thing on it. I will paint that part right there and put a beautiful transfer on it, probably from ephemeral melange or seed packet. And how cute would this be hanging in the kitchen to hang your towels on, like your hand towels. I got this little bird. He's $2.99. I've had several of these over the years, and I love the blue on this one. He's in really good shape, and I'll leave him just like he is. And this little cloche was cute. It was $1.99, and somebody has glued a little ceramic um, rabbit on the top. I did notice now that there's a little chip in him, but I can take some air dry clay and smooth that out and then just give him a little paint job. And I think that that would be a perfect little cloche base in your, or cloche top in your spring decor. Pretty sure this is just a little basket from Dollar Tree. So those are easy to make. You find a little ceramic something or a knob or something and stick them on top of there. And how cute is that? These come already white. So anytime that I find um, like really good succulents in a pot like this at Walmart, these succulents, just the succulents in this would have probably cost $10, $12, $13 just for the succulents. Um, it's a good pot. I can paint it if I didn't like the black, but I don't hate the black on this one. And it was $4.99. So just for the succulents, you cannot beat that. Same thing with this one. Um, these are 
different, um, but still pretty high end, and I, they need to be cleaned up so I can blow them off. And I don't like the shiny on this pot. I may give it some texture, or I could put a traditional pots transfer on it just like it is, too. This um, lantern candle holder was $4.99. Perfect farmhouse. Don't need to do anything to it. Stick a battery-operated candle in it, and you're good to go. This was at an estate sale for 25 cents. It's got this, it's got the perfect green patina on it that we try to replicate. Um, this might even be replicated, but I won't do anything to that. I'll um, put some floral foam in it and make a pretty arrangement and that will sell just like that. We're getting through this, guys, much better than I thought we would. I've got to do one more change out, and then I'll show you the rest of the stuff. I hope you're enjoying this video. Um, a lot of these things will be on my website, suzyonthefarm.com. If you're interested in purchasing anything, be sure and check that out. I don't really know. They had these um, two for 50 cents, and they're just tops, two pots that you, you know, just... A lot of times you'll find just boxes and boxes of tops. I like the knob on this one, and I love the blue and white, and it's got a lot of age to it, and this one's um, enamel, so and they're both blue. They look good. So Julie did a thing on her last kitchen makeover, I think, where she just took some wire and put it around tops of, they weren't, they might have been pot lids or something, and put them up and bent them and just made like a little photo holder. And I thought that these would be perfect for that. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. So thank you, Julie, for that idea. So I paid 50 cents for them. Um, got one of these. They already have the holes in them. Um, this one's already missing its little handle. It's just like a frying basket. But you put some legs on here. Put some floral or some other... Um, decorative items, hang a little tea towel over it. Absolutely perfect, especially in a kitchen. These are cute. They're little stainless steel. That was the word I was looking for a while ago. These are little stainless steel. It's got a couple of little, well, they're all, there's three stainless steel teapots in here that I can paint up to match and put something on. Um, I did pay $6.99 for those, but I'm sure that those will be worth it. Look at this. I know it's got a few little stains, but I'm pretty sure I can clean that up. It's cross-stitch ducks, and I love the size of the frame. I only paid $2 for it, so I will probably paint the frame um, and I just think that that's absolutely adorable. Cross stitch is definitely coming back around and I love to cross stitch, but I just don't have time to do it. I don't sit and do anything. Like if I do, I'm in the bed, you know, scrolling through my phone or watching a YouTube video. I don't have time to just sit and watch TV and cross stitch, but I used to love to cross stitch. I got this butt pan. It's a West Bend, so it's a good one. It was a dollar. I have got one, two, five bunt pans now, so I need to come up with something to do with them. I don't have to do anything to them because they will sell eventually just like they are, but I'm really wanting to come up with some kind of upcycle now that I have so many um, and maybe display them all together. This was a good basket for $4. Perfect for putting pillows and throws in. Don't have to do anything to it, but I have been seeing like where you just do like a two-tone, maybe I would do like a black or even an off-white, like maybe up to here and leave the rest of it natural. I think that would be cute. Okay, got some pretty detailed frames. Um, I can't remember these were at an estate sale. I paid, they were in a box. I think they were a dollar each. So all these detailed frames were a dollar each. They're perfect for putting printed artwork in, or even, even um, in my last video, I had some embroidered tea towels. I have some more of them. I have some Christmas ones, and those are really cute, framed up too. These are matching. I like these a lot. Oh, this mirror was $3. It's a Hobby Lobby piece. 
but it's a mirror, so um, you think I should paint the frame or just leave it as is? Probably just leave it as is and put 10 or $12 on it. I've got way too much to paint. I picked up this hat. Um, this is perfect hanging on a hook in your entryway or something. This is a perfect color. It's got the lace band on it. I love that. These pillows were $5. They are pretty clean. They're pretty heavy. I, mm, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to, I can just throw them in the washing machine just as they are and give them a good cleaning. But these sell really well and look so cute. Look at that. Look how good those look together. Oh, yes. These are some embroidered napkins. They only have just the little thing on them, but I thought they were so cute. You can put these um, in your decor or actually use them. Got so many napkin rings. Look how cute those are. What did I pay for these? $4 for one, two, six, six napkins. Perfect, they just need washed. Couple rolling pins. This one's tiny. I love the tiny rolling pins. And it was $2.99 and $3.99. Um, my rolling pin stash is getting a little out of hand. So be on the lookout for some rolling pin upcycles coming up real soon. And I like this basket too. It was $3. Y'all. These were at the ceramic ladies. I don't know if she made these because they don't feel ceramic. They feel more paper mache. I paid $5 for this bag. And look at the, yeah, they're paper mache. Look at these vegetables. I love them. These are perfect fillers um, like they are. I can imagine they, they could be painted as well. I'm gonna put them all in this basket as I take them out. Look at the carrot. It needs a stem, but that is no problem. Take some greenery, glue it in there. I'm obsessed with these vegetables. Paper mache. A cabbage. Um, that's some kind of pepper. Let's see what's in this one. I've been wanting to get in this bag since I bought it and I have not opened it until now. What is that? I don't know. I love them. Oh, here's a mushroom, but it's broken. I don't know if I can fix that. I'll try. There's another one. This one isn't broken, and it's still laid like that, so maybe it won't be that hard. Anyway, all of these vegetables. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. What do you guys think? Okay, what's left? That's it. That's it, guys. We did it. We got... Oh, no, here's one more thing. This was $5.00. I love making over these cases. They sell amazing for me. I think, yeah, so this one was some kind of whiskey or wine or something. It's got the cups. I'm gonna leave all this in here um, and then fix up the outside of it. How cute would that be? So yeah, that's it. Finally got through this big haul. I've got a couple of projects going for next week's video. Next week's video will be a thrift to treasure video. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you again next week.